my name is Gabe Zolna. I can't believe all the far-left liberal freaks are coming out of the woodwork. I mean, they're just coming out in droves. Pierce Morgan, now I, I like Pierce, he was a good actor. I say was a good actor, I think his time's come and gone. And he still wants to hold on to the limelight, so what is he doing? He's out there beating his drum about gun control. He doesn't think that an American should have a gun until they're 25 years of age, but yet they can go into the military at 18 and get killed over fighting to try to get other people so they can vote. Well, we can't even vote in our own country. And if we do vote, we don't know if the votes count. Well, we know the votes don't count. But anyway, that's a whole different story. You got Michael Moore. Hey, Michael, why don't you go on a diet? You look like you're going to explode. You, you don't have a neck anymore, you know, you're all one head. Anyway, you got Michael Moore out there beating the drums about uh, gun control. People are tweeting like crazy, and mainly the people that are far-left freaks. They want uh, David Keene, who's the president of the NRA, to die. They also suggest that all of the uh, people that belong to the NRA should go home and kill their children. Now, how sick is that? I mean, where's that coming from? What does the NRA do? All they do is try to protect the Americans' Second Amendment rights. You know, driving home this afternoon, I got on the radio with KFYI. They had... Uh, their commentator was talking about guns, and I was fortunate enough to be able to get on the air. And I, I started chatting, and, and you know, he said that uh, people shouldn't uh, be allowed to have guns at home because statistics show that uh, if people have guns at home, they commit suicides, and uh, people that have guns at home, children get killed, and other people get killed, and other people get killed. Hey, wake up. If someone wants to kill themselves, they'll find a way. If they don't have a gun and they want to die, they can go in a garage and close the door and leave the car running and asphyxiate themselves. If they don't have a car or a garage, they can go stick their head in a microwave. The point is that if people want to die, they'll die. Yeah, having a gun, you want to kill yourself, it's more convenient. But they'll die because they want to die, period. So that doesn't cut it. You know, it's really amazing. This whole thing that happened in Connecticut, I mean, this is like manna from heaven for Obama and for the far left freaks. They are just all over it. I mean, you had Obama doing one of these. Now notice the head. The head is pointed down. Huh? The left hand's flicking up. Tears don't run up against gravity. He wasn't crying. It's a joke. But he's using that as an incredible photo op. What did he say? Well, I'm going to use all the power of my administration to do what? What are you going to do? You're going to take away the Americans' rights to bear arms? You can't do that. There's more of us than there is of you, period. So what are you going to do? You can't control the guns because the bad guys have guns. This whole thing's insane. What you want to do is bring back religion. You got rid of God. You got rid of Christmas. You got rid of schools teaching religion. You got rid of all that, right? What are you going to replace it with? Sharia law is not here yet, Obama. Anyway, it's just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable how they use this terrible tragedy for their own political gain. These far left freak Democrats, that's what they all are. They're far left freak Democrats. In our Congress, our Republicans, they might as well go to sleep. They don't do anything. Now you got John Boehner, he's going to negotiate with what? You can't negotiate with the devil. What are you going to do? You can give him enough money for three and a half days worth to run a government? It's insane. He's using that as a ploy. It's a diversion, a distraction. That's all it is. He doesn't care about this country. He wants to destroy it and cripple it. Obamacare is a tool to do exactly that, as are all of his other insane policies. We're in for a real rough ride if we can't get rid of this, mother. That's for darn sure.